As the last day of school approaches, we're looking back at some of the stories that caught your attention this year. We hit the streets to hear what students had to say about their experience this school year. And for show and tell, we're taking you to Rainier View Elementary, where students are growing in their learning through a gardening club. All this and more coming up on First Bell. Hi, I'm Martin Jones, goaltender for the Seattle Kraken. You're watching First Bell on SBS TV. Hey SBS, I'm Ibrahima Dukare. And I'm Annie Small. Thank you for tuning in to First Bell, where we chime in with news from all across the district. We've almost made it to the end of the school year, and we're excited to look back on some highlights. Let's get into it. After a delayed start to the school year, it was all gas and no brakes as students and staff hit the ground running. Now, with the end of the school year upon us, we want to revisit some of the highlights. Here's Yahaya Abdullah to walk us down memory lane. From the long-awaited groundbreaking of Rainier Beach's new building, to awesome academics to some spectacular award winners, Seattle Public Schools is doing big things. Let's look back at some of our top stories of the year. We hope you enjoyed looking back at these moments. Be sure to drop a comment on social media with the hashtag SPS Flashback and share your favorite memories from the school year. This is Yahaya Abdullah reporting from the field, back to the studio. We know the year was not without some tough moments. School communities grieved the death of staff members. Students and staff continue to struggle with mental health issues and several school communities are dealing with the after effects of gun violence on or near the campuses. In the wake of tragedy, the district is making progress in strengthening the safety of our schools. Superintendent Brent Jones put forth new guidelines to ensure all schools can provide safe and welcoming campuses. You can learn more about these plans on the SPS website. We showed you some highlights from our top stories of the year. And now, let's hear about yours. We traveled to a few schools to hear about your favorite moments. In May, we did this project for Asian American Pacific Heritage Month. And I thought it was really fun because like each morning like we would have like a sheet of a, like a paper and we got to color it in and under it we it would tell us about the person and like what they did so that was really fun. This uh, school year we got to get a pet hamster and over the weekend different people get to bring it home and I enjoyed that because it's really cool to have a hamster if you don't have a pet already and it's a good way to show responsibility as like a role in life but that was pretty cool for me. Being with my friends and my teachers because we have like a really fun time here. My favorite thing that I learned this year was about dead presidents. It's cool to learn about um, how they change the world. I feel like field trips is yeah. so fun. And like you get to go with your friends to like a fun place for everything. Is when I was running for prom king. And I actually got prom king. I was really, really happy about that. The reason why I want to be prom king, because nobody will ever, ever forget the prom king. So that's why. <laughs> For me, it's probably the sheep eye dissection in science. It sounds gross, but it was pretty fun. It, it was pretty fun. I think my favorite thing to do was like planning the school dances and stuff because I'm very like organizational. That was also really fun, like setting up. Yeah. That was fun. For me, it was also Camper Kyla and all my orchestra concerts. I got to meet a lot of new people. Have a great summer. Have a great summer. Have a great summer! Have a great, great summer! summer. <laughs> that was good! <laughs> the bell. Evie, what was a highlight for you this year? A highlight for me this year, I had perfect attendance. What about you, Annie? I got an A in Spanish. That's ace. Now let's head over to Rainier View Elementary, where they're moving their learning from the classroom to the courtyard. It's time for show and tell. <laughs> Rainier View, 
Teachers have found a way to connect the classroom learning to our daily lives, but it's the garden club that allows students to get done dirty and while learning at the same time. There's something growing. Tiger clubs are classes that oh, offer wait. students a way to learn through hands-on activities. The club brings joy and excitement to learning new skills. They're making connections in books, personal connections to the garden, and through the curriculum with second grade, we do plants and animals at the beginning of our science curriculum and they're making connections now to things that we learned way back in October and September. The Garden Club is special because it gives students a sense of purpose and responsibility. It also teaches teamwork and communication skills while fostering a sense of mindfulness. Some people say it's work but that's not for me. It makes me feel calm, it makes me feel relaxed, happy, and just my normal self. It's just my thing. I just love gardening. Rainier View also has a Lego and Puzzle Club, as well as clubs for performing arts, running, choir, and sports. We love our Tiger Clubs. You know what's next. Get ready for the rundown. SPS is celebrating Pride Month. LGBTQ plus students, staff, family, and allies are invited to march with SPS in Seattle's Pride Parade on Sunday, June 25th. Get all the details on how to join on SPS's website. We hope to see you there! High school students across the district can take virtual courses in Black Studies, Arabic, Native American Literature, or Filipino Studies next school year. Register now with your counselor before classes are full. Graduation season kicks off this Friday. Nearly all SPS high schools will hold their ceremony at Memorial Stadium. You can find the schedule on the district's webpage. The last day of school is Friday, June 30th. There will be a one hour early dismissal, so plan accordingly. In case you're not counting, we're down to the last seven days of school. It's time for SPS shout outs. This month, we are giving a round of applause to all the district staff that are retiring this year. On behalf of SPS and students around the districts, we want to say thank you for your dedication and commitment. In the meantime, we want to hear what you thought about First Spell. Tell us how we did. Send your feedback to goodnews at seattleschools.org. That's it for us. We've got one more episode coming in July dedicated to the class of 2023. So be sure to tune in. Until next time, I'm Ibrahim Dukare. And I'm Annie Small. We'll catch you later for First Spell. <laughs>